about identity um, because I, I was I was saying that um, I had come into a place in ministry where I was producing a lot in my own strength and I was tired. I was really tired. And so as much as we knew from the very beginning, even before they left the soil in Switzerland, that um, we were supposed to be a part of whatever Byron was, is becoming. We also didn't want to do ministry anymore at the time, actually, when we, when we came and when we joined. And so it was really sort of um, uh, a breaking down of like, you know, who am I apart from what I do? Who am I apart from what I produce for God? Who am I apart from how I used to see myself? Because I had also just had twins and they were newborns and, you know, you don't ever get out of your house and it's really lonely and, you know, oh my gosh, I don't have any friends because I was going to prayer meetings instead of like spending time with people or you know then you have little people to take care of and so you know it was for me sort of that first um, that first year was um, really healing really rebuilding to sort of discover that I was someone apart from pro producing something apart from producing what you know the boss wanted or the senior pastor wanted um, in a particular situation and then out of that to discover that here were people who were really living what all ministries say they live and and that is that relationships matter first not the doing of, of ministry you know like they said that at the beginning but you know from the variety of very awesome very wonderful ministries that I've been a part of very often you sacrifice yourself on the altar of ministry not on the altar of Jesus on the altar of ministry and um, and here were people who were really living that they loved you first, even if you didn't produce anything. Um, and that, I think, is something that was really woven into that first year of, of Byron, because they could have not listened to the Lord um, and been slave divers, let's do the ministry, you know. And um, John and I would have done it, you know, because we're were trained to be faithful um, but it probably would have like kind of ruined us <laughs> um, and so that you know that was really healing and then to come out of that first year of loving people learning how to love people and learning how to form healthy relationships that also formed a healthy relationship with, with God again and then to find this year that all of a sudden my excitement has, has come back again and you know the, the tagline for Byron, <laughs> the little kids in the background, is um, <laughs> you know bigger than us um, and to really come back to like my first love, the whole reason that I, I fell in love with Jesus and I fell in love of wanting to make a d difference in the world in the first place is because I really do believe in a God that is bigger than us and that it, he is going to do something huge. Not necessarily huge in numbers, maybe huge in numbers, maybe not, but just huge in people's lives and people's hearts because, you know, he, he's done it for us and, um, you know, it's, I, I believe in a miracle working God. I just can't wait to see what comes as year two closes and the new season starts. Okay. <laughs>